kids are the most important thing in our lives. Oh, my God, we forgot Meg. Don't worry about Meg. She's got everything she needs in her room. We must stop Lex Luthor before he irradiates the world's supply of gold. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry. I know you got a meeting going on, but, um... So, we are officially running low on Mr. Pibb and Cheez-Its. So, um, just putting it out there, if you're heading to the store later, uh, you know, 800-mile uh, drive for me, like, uh, five seconds for you. Whatever. I'm not here. They sent you? Yeah. Everyone else was busy, so, uh, they sent me. What the hell are you gonna do? You don't have any superpowers. Uh, I got a cell phone. Oh, no bars. Most of the time, the kids will exercise out in the field. But if it's raining, or I'm hungover, they stay inside and play dodgeball. Oh, I love dodgeball! Heads up! And this week in Home Ec, we're teaching your kids how to make bunt cake. Oh, I love bunt cake! Heads up! <laughs> Oh, well, this is odd. What? Well, you're 42 years old, and it says here you've never had a prostate exam. No, but I've had other exams, like that one in college. Damn it, this is too hard! Here's what I think of your test, Mr. Teacher! You just stood up to me. Congratulations. That was the test. <gasps> you may begin your exam now. Of course. I like meeting Chris's teachers. This ought to be more interesting than that time I met Ted Danson. Wow, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Hey, always nice to meet a fan. Oh, shoot. I forgot my umbrella. That's okay, honey. Come on over here. Thanks, dear. Sometimes it's good to be a freak. Hey, do you want to sleep together later? Oh, no. No, no. Thanks, though. Dr. Hartman violated me. He took my innocence. <laughs> what? Peter, that's a prostate exam. It's an important part of a physical for men your age. You sound just like him! <laughs> Idiot. Good evening, parents. I'm Miss Clifton. I'd like for you to fill out these contact information sheets. Now, now who would like to pass them out? Oh, 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 Miss Clifton! Miss Clifton, over here! Oh, 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 Miss Clifton! 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 Mmm, Mrs. Griffin. Ow! Hi, sweetie! Ugh, look at her staring. What are you looking at, huh? God, I should take her out right here with these, man. Oh, hey, Lois. Oh, you like staring? Oh, why don't I give you a closer look? What the da Yeah, yeah, you want some of this Maury Poe bitch? ba doo ba -ding. Oh, oh, what's that? Oh, you come back for more? Huh? ba da ba -da! I'd freaking drop her ass. I, I, I'm sorry, will you all please excuse me for a moment? Tonight's winning lottery numbers are 6, 21, 18, 7, 42. Oh my god! I won! I'm free from all those snot nosed little bastards! <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> <laughs> Get a tan. Hey, Peter, buddy. How about some TV, huh? We now return to Freddy Got Fingered. Oh, God. Ouch. Oh, God. Yellow Pages. Let your fingers do the walking. <laughs> Brian, why don't you teach Chris's class? You're very knowledgeable, and the kids might knock you down a few pegs, which would be good for you. You know, that is a terrific idea, Lois. I probably have a lot to offer young people. <laughs> What's he going to teach them? How to lick the Dorito crumbs from between the sofa cushions, or how to leave a dead bird on the carpet? That was a gift, you bastard. That was a gift for the family. <laughs> Are we still going to the baseball game? Get that away from me, Chris! <laughs> Stop it, Meg! <laughs> I'm your substitute teacher, Brian Griffin. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Griffin! Griffin. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, please, please, call me Brian. Mr. Griffin is my father. I thought your father's name was Coco, and he was hit by a milk truck. Sit right there, honey. Mommy will go get Rupert so he can eat with you. Oh, God, thoughtful. Oh, hey, Lois, I made coffee if you want some. Oh, thank you, Brian. That'd be nice. Uh, hey, Brian, uh, listen, I've got a favor to ask. Could you, uh, could you not talk to Lois anymore? What? You know, it's just I'm, I'm tired of you hitting on her, that's all. All right, our goal here is to gain a command of the English language so you can be successful writers like Ben Affleck and Matt Damon. Ha, huh, there, finished. Goodwill Hunting by Matt Damon. Hey, uh, you think we could put both our names on that? What? You've done nothing but eat briars and smoke pot for the last six months. It's, I mean, it's, it's not cool. I was just making coffee. I didn't hit on her. Besides, Lois is my friend. I'll do whatever the hell I want. I'm asking you nicely, Brian. Stop hitting on her. That's ridiculous. I see the way you look at her. Little mama's I see boy now, kissing stop. up to her, monopolizing all her time, so Listen, no one else can have a shot at her. You know what? Fine. 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 I do hit on Lois. Fine. 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 That wasn't a line. You just farted. Is there any more pot? Lewis! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! 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 Mama! 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 What's it like to have Brian as a teacher? It sucks! Mr. Griffin gave me an F on my first assignment. What? An F, Brian? After all Chris has done for you? Ah, oh, yeah, just kind of... Pull it out. Yeah. You know, if dogs aren't supposed to eat dental floss out of the garbage, why do they make it mint-flavored? Ma! 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 Mom! 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 Mommy! Mommy! Mama! 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 What? Hi. <laughs> Hey, hey, Chris, when I was in school, you know what we used to do when a teacher gave us a bad grade? What? We'd egg his house. Come on, where's this bastard live? I'll show you. That's his house. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. I got Take that, it. you bum. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Is that him? Yeah. Oh, crap. Lewis, what are you doing? I want to sleep in your bed. Oh, good night, honey. I love you. This is for your own good. Lewis, where, where, where are you going? Lewis? Lewis? Lewis, answer me! Damn you, I will not be ignored! Get back in here! Get back in here and love me! Ah! Lewis! Hello, class. Mark Twain here, filling in for Brian Griffin. I understand you children read my book, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Yes, I read it. Now, who can tell me... Bobby, stop screwing around back there. Who can tell me the significance of the carpetbaggers in my novel? Yeah, uh, they stood for corruption and greed. That's exactly right. What am I gonna do, Seamus? Dr. Hartman is my only hope, and there's no way he's gonna see me. Well, you'd best come up with something, Peter. Otherwise, this will happen to your prostate. You just, uh, carry a picture of a diseased prostate around with you? Never know when it's gonna come up in conversation. And then who's the one who's prepared? Oh, maybe I should go in. He's so upset. He's just being melodramatic. You've got to ignore it if you really want to help him. Are you flexing? What? Me? No. no. What, why, why would I be flexing? <laughs> I mean, I have uh, sort of been hitting the gym, so uh, if, if you wanted to see how it's going... It... Good news! I've also got a map of Middle Earth, a cat doing a pull-up, and the guys from Primus. These poster jokes doing anything for you? Eh, hit and miss. We should hang out more. You kids are mighty smart. You must have a powerful good teacher. Well, I gotta catch my time steamboat back to the 1800s. Hey, sorry I'm late. Did I miss anything? Yeah, Captain Crunch was here. Didn't you pass him on the stairs? Dr. Hartman, your license is hereby reinstated. Oh, I'm so glad you two worked things out. And to think I actually thought you raped me. Well, I was going to, but you ran out of the room. What? Uh... Gosh, I was really starting to like this job. It was nice interacting with intelligent people. I usually hang out with an idiot. Brian, Brian, check it out. I made a water slide in the house. Yay! I'm not going to call the hospital because you won't learn anything if I do.
Huh, wonder what the hell's down there. Judd Hirsch? Uh, hey. Uh, what, uh, what's going on? Nothing. All right. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Lockhart. I graded your quizzes from yesterday. Most of you did well. Some of you, I think, can do better. What do you see here, Chris? Two D's and an F. Just sit down and go to the bathroom already. A scandal at the Quahog Bowling Alley tonight, where a local man, Glenn Quagmire, was charged with peeping in the ladies' room. Coming up, Diane's weight. Tell us, sir, how did you summon the courage to save your friend from that burning building? That freaking place was on fire? And there you have it. Coming up next, watch me shave. You know, you're lucky I've got some extra pull around here, thanks to my 18 medals for heroism. Hey, here he goes again with the medals. Hey, Joe, if you love your medals so much, why don't you marry him? <laughs> uh, hi. I'm, uh, Mr. Griffin, but you can call me Brian. Mr. Griffin is my father. Uh, well, has, uh, anybody read Huckleberry Finn? I, I did something like that once. And in the event of your death, you'd like the insurance policy to be paid to your wife? Yep. And your wife is this piece of pie? You got it. Love you. Okay, sign here. You know what? You can probably go ahead and cancel that. You just gotta do something simple, like Vincent Van Gogh. Ooh, it's... What is this? It's my ear. Do you like it? You, you, don't, you don't like it? No, I like it. But it's just... Why your ear? Because I love you. Well, at least this will be a funny story to tell our kids someday. Oh, you want kids? Ugh, yikes. Uh, I wish you'd told me that before I got you this. All right, all right, look, I know an apology is due here, so, Lois, tell Quagmire you're sorry you had him arrested. Excuse me? He's the one who owes me an apology. He was watching me go to the bathroom. Well, clearly he thinks you're attractive, Lois. It's a positive thing. Thank you, Glenn, for complimenting our family. We have had it with his disrespectful women. We're petitioning the city to have him removed from the neighborhood. Mrs. Lockhart? Your teacher? Whoa, 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 whoa. Lois, this is not my Batman glass. Peter, are you listening? Chris has a crush on his teacher. Ew, gross! You know what else is gross? <laughs> Ah, I broke a damn blood vessel! <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, fat man, those jugs are mine until the milk dries up. Then you can have the remains. How's it coming, dog? God, li just li listen to this kid's report on Great Expectations. Miss Havisham should have thrown that cake out so it don't, like, mess all up the bitch's house. I, I, I don't know what to do. Now, don't worry about a thing, Quagmire. Your pals are gonna help you change your ways. I, I don't know, Peter. I'm not sure I can do this. Meg, get out of the way. I, I, so I'm chilling in Verona when my homie busts out with, Yo, Romeo, check out that biatch Juliet in the window. Problem is, Juliet's peeps are like East Coast rappers, and my posse's representing West Said. Just like my boys Tupac and Biggie, know what I'm saying? That's racist, man. Yeah, that's just straight ignorant, dog. Peter, are you sure Quagmire is ready to be out in public? Nothing to worry about, Lois. We figured out a foolproof rehabilitation method. I got the idea from when Brian had to wear that cone after his operation. Okay, okay, if I make this, we're all gonna get laid. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Score! Score! Boy, I'd really like to chew on my crotch right now. It's good to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. Well, we wanted to talk to you about our son. You see, Chris really... Uh, lo 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 Lois, Lois, honey, let's uh, make sure we do this delicately, all right? Mrs. Lockhart, our son would like to plow you. That was amazing. You saved her life. Thank God you know CPR. What the hell, CPR? I had a feeling that's what was going on. Sorry, our, our son can sometimes be a boob. I mean, a melon. I mean, a, a sopping wet pair of breasts barely covered by a racing T-shirt. Peter, Mrs. Lockhart, we just wanted you to know so you could spare his feelings and let him down gently. Don't worry. I know exactly what to say to Chris. Thank you so much. You've been very understanding. Which is why I've invented a new type of flying machine. You know, I vaguely recall seeing footage somewhere of something exactly like this that uh, leads me to believe this probably won't work. All right, Stewie, let her rip. 
All right, we attack the Rice Krispie guys at dawn, assuming Judd Hirsch delivers the goods. Gosh, you know, I, I don't mean to impose, but do you have a picture of yourself that I could tape to the back of Lois's head? Mrs. Lockhart? Chris, come down here. I need to talk to you. Hey! Do you have any idea what time it is? Get in the house, fatty! Those freaking elves, man. They just came out of the trees, man. They just came out of the trees. You saved my ass back there. You saved mine. Here's to snap. To snap. Yeah, oh, good God, look at the fat man's underwear. Looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. Don't put that in with my things! Huh, what's this? You know, Stewie, Mommy doesn't usually read things out of Chris's pockets. She's more respectful than that. Well, whatever helps you sleep at night, bitch. Congratulations, Quagmire. You're the newest member of my Wall of Fame. What's wrong, Peter? Oh, it's nothing, Joe. It's... I don't know. It's, it's just that all you guys have something to be proud of, you know? Quagmire got a key to the city. Nobody took care of me when I lost my arms and legs and was struck blind, deaf, and dumb. Hey, hey, Meg, they got a Happy Days spoof in here, but they call it Crappy Days. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? If you're not going to laugh, then I'm not going to keep you company. You're always getting medals for catching crooks. Hell, even Cleveland used to be an accomplished auctioneer. I have 125. Do I hear 130? 130,000 for this authentic Comanche headdress. I got 130. I got 130. Do I hear 135? 140? Do I hear 140? B. 135 going once. Hey, yo, man, what's that thing in the middle? What, this? <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me. That's an ampersand. It's a symbol for the word and. Oh, this sucks. I've been working on this all week and I keep coming up dry. Who am I kidding? I'm never gonna be remembered for anything. Not like my great-great-uncles, the Siamese twins who fought each other in the Civil War. I'm seceding, like hell you were! Not too smart, huh? Yeah, did not think that one through. My God, nobody can be this stupid. Not, not, not even Peter when he took that blow to the head and thought he was Larry from Three's Company. Jack, there's a hot tub party across the street and we're invited. Oh, and don't worry, if uh, Mr. Furley comes by, I'll make sure he thinks you're... <laughs> don't give up yet, Peter. I mean, many blind people lead rich, fulfilling lives. Oh, I don't know, Brian. I mean, I guess I can give it a shot. Oh, my God! I almost didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. Oh, worth it. Totally worth it. You know, Lois, Chris is cool and everything, but uh, since he killed that guy, uh, I don't know, maybe he shouldn't be living with us here now. Peter, I'm scared. Don't worry, sweetheart. You'll have plenty of time to escape while he's killing Meg. He hates her the most. Hey, everybody. What's for dinner? I'm starving. My God, his bloodlust is unquenchable. Hey, Chris, why don't you take your sister into the kitchen for a sandwich? I don't want to die! Oh, my God, he is so gorgeous. And he plays by no one's rules but his own. Meg, you should ask him out. I mean, you're the only one of us who's ever had a real boyfriend. I'm back. I brought another picnic. You're such a good listener. You're not like the other boys. <laughs> You're so good with animals. Oh, come on, Chris. Everybody's done something they're not proud of. Like when I used to be a Wonder Twin. Peter, the old schoolhouse is on fire. Let's go. Wonder, Wonder Twin, Twin powers, powers activate. activate. Form of a hawk. All right, who's next for a flu shot? Oh, that's me. I'm, uh, I'm Peter Griffin. Mr. Griffin, these flu shots are in short supply. We need to save them for the elderly, like these folks here. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be heading out then and... Whoa! Oh, look at that. Oh, well, since it's already in there, you might as well uh, push down on the old plunger there. Come on, Peter. Yeah, uh, I'll be right behind you. Shape of Jaina's tampon. <laughs> and now I play the waiting game. You're a monster. You know what was a monster? Frampton Comes Alive, 1976. Is there anyone you knew who didn't have that record? I don't think so. Bam! All right, have a good winter. <sighs> Hi, Craig. Um, I, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to, I don't know, go out sometime? Huh. That's about as likely as me playing by someone else's rules besides my own, which I would never do. I play by my own rules. Nobody else's. Not even my own. How about a movie? I don't go out with dudes. They got 300 stores, 200 restaurants, 53 bars, and an indoor cattle ranch. I go to Baskin Robbins every night and buy myself a little treat. 
Now, how the hell am I supposed to compete with that? Mom, Dad, am I ugly? Oh, of course not, sweetie. Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> you need to fix the place up. Reinvent the clam's image, and we'll help you. That'll take forever. Not if we do a 1980s fixing stuff up montage. Wow, I think we made it worse. Boy, I do not envy whoever has to clean that mess up. Megan Lowriders. Ooh, enough of that. Go away, damn you! Oh, you're going to get it now! <laughs> hey, Horace, what the hell's this? Yeah, it's a karaoke machine. I never got around to installing it. A karaoke machine? Wait a minute, that's it! We'll turn this place into a karaoke bar! Oh, man, that's the best idea since they faked the moon landing. Okay, cut. You finding everything okay? Yes, thank you. Well, you just let me know if you need any... How do these jeans look? Ah! My daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. It looks like we've got a winner, Tom. Wow, Neil Armstrong. Hey, wait a minute. You're supposed to be on the moon. I just saw it on TV. Oh, there's a, uh, yeah, no, a tape delay and, uh, with all, uh, solar winds. <laughs> Fellas, it doesn't matter what you wear as long as you play kick-ass rock and roll and do this with your tongue. Am I right, Gene? You got that right, Pete. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Hi, Jean. I didn't know you were here. All right, all right. Keep it in your mouth, Rockstar. Meg, don't you talk to me like that. Look, Lois, I love meal ticket just as much as I love Chris and Stevie, but business is business. So let's get this show on the road, eh? Hello, Cleveland! Hello, Peter. One, two, three, four! Oh, my God, we don't know any songs. You oh, shut off the stage! Yeah. What do we do? I know what I'm doing. I'm getting out of here. Get it, get it, get it, gone. Wow, Saturday Night Live. I can't think of anything more exciting. Oh, my God, a water fountain! <laughs> God, it would have been real easy to bring a gun in here. Where the hell did they go? Oh, whoops. Ooh, yeah. Wow. <sighs> Holy crap, that was Patty. She's got a smoking hot body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. You can tell people. Where are you going? Oh, I'm meeting up with someone from my Grinder app. Isn't that for anonymous gay hookups? No, no, no. This one's a way for guys who enjoy sandwiches to connect. You meatball freak? Uh-huh. All right, let's do this. Are you also married? Peter, what's wrong? Well, I want to masturbate, but I'm just so darn cold. Too bad there's no answer for that problem. But now there is. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, creator of The Yankin. If you're anything like me, the number one problem in your life is that you can't masturbate just anywhere. But now you can. Introducing The Yankin, the only blanket with built-in decoy arms. Our patented process makes it look like you're holding the remote or sipping a beer. Meanwhile, your real hands are under the blanket, going to town. Peter, what are you doing? Nothing. Let's watch a Scarlett Johansson movie. But wait, there's more. We have Yankets for all occasions. Sporting events, at the supermarket, on the job. Hey, what's going on under that blanket? You'll never know. So, how fat are you? 240, nice. Oh, Peter. What are you doing down here? Oh, hey, Brian. Stewie kind of took over our bed, so I'm looking for a place to sleep. Well, why don't you go up to the attic? I think there's even a futon up there. Ah, huh, that's a great idea. Geez, I'm glad you came along. 
I'm gonna sleep better than a cartoon sheriff. I was in jail because I killed a bunch of old ladies. And now that I'm out, I'm gonna do it again. Well, I put together some videos for Bonnie's party. Here we are on our honeymoon. Yeah, Cabo was great. We even went back for our 10th anniversary. <laughs> Better wrap it up, honey. Tide's coming in. Another good postal tip is if you wait to deliver your mail at night, you can smell a lot of really nice dinners. Oh no, it's that Amazon drone. Try to ignore it. Hey, Cleveland, what are you doing? Taking a walk? No, I'm delivering mail. By foot? Yeah, that won't take too long. Well, gotta go. Gotta deliver these fat pants to your fat son. He was harsh, but not untruthful. We got a special order Cleveland Jr.'s pants from a company that manufactures grill covers. We now return to The Price is Right, now with Mail Models. Let's look at this beautiful new car, presented by Ken. I don't want it. Peanut, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. Can you imagine if one of us was homecoming king? Then people would want to sit with us at lunch. Yeah, you should run. I'll nominate you. You know what? I'll do it. Maybe I'll surprise everyone. Like when you find out a buttoned-up librarian is actually super sexy. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? There's a dead homeless man blocking the card catalog. Okay, I'm done with this sweet rice water that has a pine nut floating in it. Nice dessert, by the way. Can we watch the thing now? Of course. Here it is. The last episode of Winter Summer. Oh, my God, this is everything I've dreamed of. Well, this and becoming a half-man, half-horse. Give up these legs? Don't be absurd. Peter, I'm gonna punch you with this beer mug till I'm holding just the handle. Guys, calm down. There's one way to solve this. I'll just use my phone. It says Around the World by Daft Punk. Thank you! God, you idiots are exhausting. Hey, Cleveland, how'd you do that with your phone? I'm not an idiot. I use Shazam. It recognizes songs and tells you their names. Yeah? Hey, what if I fired it into it? I don't know. Be my guest. It says Lana Del Rey. Go to hell. You used me. That's not what friends do. It's what Adam Sandler's friends do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a half a can of hot beer left in this open container I've been driving around with. You too, pig. Well, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but I can always look back on my life and say I went for it. Ugh, this seems like a weird place to even use a condom. Just shut up, Peter. I'm done with you. All right, you completely lied about why you were hanging out with me. What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. Oh, my God! My husband's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? I have a 13-inch penis. Wow, Stewie, you look exhausted. Yeah, because I was up super late last night beefing your mom. My mom's dead. Yeah, because I beefed her to death. Oh, what's your problem? Why are you being such a jerk? I'm sorry, Brian. I had the absolute worst night. I had a weird dream. A frightening dream. Yeah, Stewie, that's called a nightmare. Sounds like you must have had your first one. That's what a nightmare is? I thought nightmare meant, like, being invited to an apartment party. Get a house if you want to have a party. I'm not going to a party in an apartment. Relax, it's no big deal. People have nightmares all the time. Oh, no, Brian, I am not living through that horror again. In fact, I've decided that from this day forward, I shall never allow myself to fall asleep again. Come on, that's ridiculous. How do you think you're going to do that? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a job working the night shift at a supermarket. Hey, where's the vegetable aisle? Yeah, right. It's 2 a.m. You're not here for vegetables. Well, I got the 12 cucumbers. What's wrong? Just this guy at the... Oh, never mind. Peter, we have a hamper. Stop throwing your dirty clothes in the toilet. Peter? 
Peter, where are you? What's all this? Oh, hey, Lois. Welcome to the Peak Pad, where the dancing's hot, the drinks are hot, everything's just freaking hot. What have you done to the attic? Well, when I slept up here the other night, I realized what a great space it is. So I dragged up some stuff and turned it into a sweet hangout. Even made it extra awesome by stealing a real street sign. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I I didn't I didn't mean. No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone, and before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween candy! Peter, get out of the pantry! Oh, I can't believe I just kissed my friend's wife. I'm a bigger scumbag than Spock. I heard that there was a Romulan ship spotted in our sector, which means. Hey, hey! Got. <laughs> Chadley wants to have a play date here at my house. Well, that's great. No, it's not. I can't let him see this dump. Come on, Stewie. Chadley should like you for who you are. Besides, this place isn't so bad. Brian, Chadley's parents each have their own bathroom. I've seen the fat man pee through Lois's legs while she's sitting on the toilet. What I've got to do is find a spectacular house that I can pretend is mine to impress Chadley. Well, why don't you just use Babs and Carters? I can't. They're having an eyes-wide shut party all weekend. I can't find my wiener with this mask. All right, time out. Let's, let's all just find our wieners and then put the masks back on. Huh. I know I left the ring right here. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, Mo. Oh my god, this can't be happening! Chris, that was a diamond ring! Do you know how expensive that was? I'm sorry, Brian. But don't worry, it'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then POW! Okay, yeah, yeah, we just, we just gotta force Chris to poop, that's all. Yay, like at a sleepover! I love you. You're loved. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that campout with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> that's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real! Ah! <gasps> Yeah, they're gonna die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no! Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they helped me to, um, uh, think. Okay, time for an eyes-open nap. God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. Hey, ask me why they call me a box turtle. Mom, 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 mom. Hey, so how'd it go last night? Well, let's just say I got asked to come back tonight. You're kidding, it actually went over well? I figured you'd be terrible. Why would you think that? Well, I know a thing or two about performing. I mean, after all, I was Vin Diesel's acting coach. Okay, Vin, I like what you're doing there, but I want you to try it one more time like this. Duh! Thanks for the ride along. I liked when you sentenced those two girls to kiss each other. Yeah, all girls are lesbians when you point a gun at them. Boy, it's been great spending time with you, son. It's been great spending time with you, too. Dad. Oh, this'll be fun. Let's see how long it takes them to get Gumby over there into the car. Yeah, that's our neighbor, Peter Griffin. That's the guy who emailed me? Huh. No wonder it was all caps with tons of typos. He's a waterhead, right? Yeah, he's a mess. Look at his ugly kids. Pathetic. 
Ugh, he's not bitten. Just put some of them in the back like skis. Okay, well, thanks. We'll just try a few out. I hope you don't mind. I brought my CPAP machine. Also, I like to eat a big bowl of berries before I go to sleep. Well, what do you think, Peter? Well, it seems good, but I won't know for sure until I have my evening tug. All right, Chris, now I know you're all sophisticated now. But no man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Katherine Keener man now. But Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> yep, we missed it. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be a disaster. Just like the alternate ending of Back to the Future. Well, if I'm gonna disappear into nothing, I might as well bang my mom. Hey, Lorraine, wait up! Harry, my name's Marty. I'm in a picture. To be contenders. She's perfect. I've loved her for years. Oh, you're still listening to that thing? It's like I can't even process why he'd feel this way. And maybe, you know, maybe play it one more time. I can't believe this. I thought Quagmire was my friend. Peter, it's not that surprising. He's always had a potent sex drive. Remember his grandmother's funeral? Yeah, get it in there. Come on, you guys. Joe's gonna be fine. He'll fit in great there. Not like when I went to Hogwarts. Slytherin. Hufflepuff. Housing for registered sex offenders. Ah. Hate crime? That's crazy. I love all people. I love blacks, I love Asians. Hell, I even love gay aborigines. Yeah, where's Peter? Oh, he went to get plastic surgery. He did? Yeah, Korea's the plastic surgery capital of the world. Nobody here thinks you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey, guys. Peter, are you all right? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. Jeez, I can't believe you're going through with this, Carter. Paying these thugs to tear down the village isn't going to bring your money back. This isn't about the money. This is payback for Sammy Davis dating Kim Novak. Oh, come on, Carter. Don't do this. You don't want to be the first white guy to do something bad to Africa. Are you about done? I'm supposed to go lion shooting with a scumbag dentist. <sighs> oh, my God. They're even taking down a mosquito netting. <laughs> buzz, buzz, buzz. Ehi, hey Chris, com'è andato il tuo primo giorno dopo il corso? È stato un incubo, averlo seguito non fa alcuna differenza. La gente mi evita come la peste. Salve, signor Armart. Oh, Dio mio, bambini, correte! È quel pervertito! Tutti nel mio rifugio sotterraneo! Ai, che brutto strappo! Sono ferito, bambini! Non mangiate quei ghiaccioli finché non arrivo io! He's always had a potent sex drive. Remember his grandmother's funeral? Yeah, get it in there. Oh, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good, just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. Nobody wants anything to do with me. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run! It's said pervert! Everybody into my safety basement! Oh! Oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. I might crash when I'm 18, but then I'll just turn to the Lord and working out. I'll, I'll just be a 180-degree different type of insufferable. I used to need drugs to feel powerful, but now my power comes from my core strength. And let's look at that word, strength. The S stands for sacrifice. No gain without sacrifice. The T, of course, stands for the sufferings of the cross. 
The art? You want some cocaine? Oh my god, please, yes! That's all I want, all the time! The old Chris couldn't even figure out the self-checkout at the supermarket. Please place the item in the bagging area. Please remove the item from the bagging area. Please take a plastic bag from the bagging area. Please put the bag over your head and tighten. <laughs> Ha 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 ha. I told you I could make him do it. That's hardcore, man. You're hardcore. Wow. <gasps> Holy crap, that was Patty. She's got a smoking hot body. This is a bigger surprise than when I found out Joe was a clown. I think that belongs to me. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Okay. You won't tell anyone, will you? No. You can tell people. <sighs> Man, spending a whole day with him is gonna be worse than eating at a ballpark. Uh, I'll take one terrible beer filled up way too high so I spill most of it, and a too long hot dog on a too short bun. And do you have mustard and relish? Yeah, it's right there between the entrance and the exit to the bathroom. Perfect. And can I get a bag of unsalted peanuts? You know, something I would never eat anywhere else in the world? Sure, here you go. Great. Great. I can't wait to have diarrhea in the stall with no door while 20 guys wait for me to finish. We now return to Star Trek Creep Space Nine. <laughs> ah, she saw us! Warp speed! I mean, can you imagine if you make a million bucks? You'll be happier than a guy on his wedding day. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, free time. Farewell, sex. So long, golf on TV. I'll miss you, privacy. Goodbye being honest about how many beers I've had. Nice knowing you, my own choices. See you later, money! What? I never lie. Well, except for that one time. Oh, my God! My husband's having a heart attack! Is anyone here a doctor? I have a 13-inch penis. Come on, are you serious? Last time he kicked me all night. And I got a big day tomorrow. I got two shows. All right, folks, big treat for you today. He's a little shy. Put your hands together for Sham Peter. I'm not shy, I'm angry. I'm in constant pain. This act has been condemned by over 30 nations. I'm gonna kill you all. Wait a minute, here alone? You thinking what I'm thinking? This was not what I was thinking. That's weird. It's not what I was thinking either. I don't even know how it happened. No, me neither. But this spaghetti's not half bad. A happy mistake, we'll call it. Come on, I know it seems hard, but we can't just give up. I mean, what if Thomas Edison had given up? Uh, what's that? W what's that thing you're working on? Well, it's a light bulb and... A light bulb! Light bulb! Yeah, I invented that. Me! I'm Thomas Edison. I invented the light bulb. Uh, what's it do? It lights up a room using electrical... Lights up a room using electrical stuff. I was about to say that because I invented it. Uh, what are you working on? It's a phonograph. Phonograph! That... I knew that because I invented it. I'm Thomas Edison. I rule! Look it up. Edison was a dick. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God, it's so hot. Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Oh, my God, the couch is gone. Where the hell is... Oh, that's right, Couchella is this weekend. Hey, man, where you been? I just had sex with a girl on her period. Dude, that's not a brag be as popular as the first kid in school to get his driver's license. Hey, heard you got your license. Maybe after school you could take me to get some groceries. Yeah, or maybe you and me hop in that car of yours and do some grocery shopping. Looks like you have a roomy back seat. I'd love to fill that with groceries after school. Hey, it's Stewie. All I know about cars is what my mom does. Peanut, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. I'm going to sleep better than a cartoon sheriff. <laughs> I 
I was in jail because I killed a bunch of old ladies. And now that I'm out, I'm going to do it again. Well, why don't you just use Babs and Carters? I can't. They're having an eyes wide shut party all weekend. I can't find my wiener with this mask. All right, time out. Let's, let's all just find our wieners and then put the masks back on. Y you're, uh, you're not going to rape me, are you? Of course I'm not going to rape you. I'm going to make you fall in love with me. Then we'll see what happens. Oh, no. It's already working. You're right. We need to do the right thing, like the dad from Small Wonder. All right, Vicky, time to shut you down for the night. Good night. See you tomorrow. <sighs> nah. I don't know, maybe I'll get a job working the night shift at a supermarket. Hey, where's the vegetable aisle? Yeah, right, it's 2 a.m. You're not here for vegetables. Well, I got the 12 cucumbers. What's wrong? Just this guy at the... Oh, never mind. Great, don't worry. I'm great at keeping secrets. Well, except for that one time you discovered my hidden shame. Peter? Brian, I'm, uh... I'm sorry. I'm one of these guys now. I'm sorry, Brian! I'm sorry! We can make this work. Like couples who meet on Craigslist. You're, You're not, not what, what you, you look, look like, like in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over with. with. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. Hey, let me go home with one last good memory, and then I promise you have heard the last of Gretchen Mercer. Well, I, I should probably say no, but I've never been known for my good judgment. I mean, that's how I got into trouble with the PETA catcher. your lollipops. Lollipops, come along, Peter. Peter, you mustn't. I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts. Trinkle tarts? <laughs> I'm gonna get so molested. Hey, 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 don't try to take this away from me. This is the only thing I've ever been good at. Well, this and timing my farts to a thunderstorm. Why don't we all go ahead and turn to page six in the handout? The first thing you're going to notice is a bar graph. And what that is, is to indicate our international sales, which peaked, oh, of course, yeah. during the last quarter. But now, we're expecting that to drop off as we enter the colder weather. The storm's moving away. All right, I'll go. But I'm not happy. You know how much I hate being told what to do. I haven't been this scared since the Silence of the Lamb! Hey, um, let's move in together. Say something! Like when you find out a buttoned-up librarian is actually super sexy. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? There's a dead homeless man blocking the card catalog. Good idea. And luckily, I'm great at connecting with that generation. Like when I went on that camp out with One Direction. So they checked into their hotel suite, but the minibar had no sparkling water, only still! <gasps> ah, stop! It's too scary. Oh, but that's not all. They looked in the wardrobe and discovered that the stylist had only brought non-skinny jeans! <gasps> Do you mean like a Levi's 513 skinny straight? No, just regular pants that fit normal! <gasps> that's not real, right? Those aren't real. Of course not, Louis. It's, it's just a story. Well, I guess that means these aren't real. Ah! Ah! Yeah, they're going to die in the woods. Simon, are they tagged? They're tagged, right? Oh, they're tagged. Good. Simon, did I ever tell you the one about the loose-fitting T-shirt? No, 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 no. You're right. I mean, look at Jeb Bush and his wife. Honey, do you think I'll ever be president? No, no, no. You shouldn't wear people's old dirty clothes. Well, I'm a dirty guy, Lois. Haven't you ever seen my naughty late-night party line commercials? Hey, are you lonely? Do you like to party with hot girls? What about horsing around with fat guys? Well, what are you waiting for? Give us a call. I'll be on the toilet wearing a T-shirt that's so long I have to hold it under my chin while I wipe. This is terrible! I can't be short! I'll be an outcast like Rudolph the Uncircumcised Reindeer. 
look, Rudolph, it's not me, all right? It's Dasher. He's been complaining, and he is the one who has to look at it all night. I don't know. Mrs. Claus says it'll decrease my sensitivity. I'm, I'm sorry, why are you talking to my wife about this? Hey, Chris, wait till you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake. Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed him up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. I can't drink anymore? What am I gonna do? What do people do who don't drink? I don't know. Knit? 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 Are you kidding me? Maybe. Um, okay, so it turns out I am, like, crazy good at knitting. Make people uncomfortable for not knowing about fish. What's good here? It's all good. What's the freshest? It's all fresh. How about the halibut? Is it gamey? Gamey? I mean, you know, is it fishy? It's all fish. Is there a special way to prepare it? I'd cook it up. W well, what's the best fish here? What's your favorite fish? I don't eat fish. I only like spaghetti. I'm gonna head over to the YMCA. There's nothing black guys like more than out of shape indoor basketball white guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying my best here. And trying is what matters most of all. You're right, Peter. We need to give you a chance, no matter what color your skin is. Come on, let's play some ball. And then Peter and his new friends went for ice cream. The end. Okay, kids, are your parents out of the room? Good. Let's get back to Sloppy Floppers magazine. Oh, crap, what do we do about our show? Now I know how that German movie producer felt. All right, Friedrich, now that World War II is over, we can get back to making comedies again. Get me these comedy writers. Uh, I don't think any of these guys are available. What? This is terrible. Get me my agent. He's, uh, he's probably not gonna answer either. Well, this is crazy. What happened? Oh, I remember what happened. Lois, to show I'm in touch with what it's like to be African-American, I am gonna go to the middle of the town square, get naked, and paint myself brown. No, no, that's offensive. You can't pretend to be black. That's a stupid idea. What? It's a stupid idea! You're a stupid man! A stupid, stupid man! Ow! You're hurting me! Stop it! Stop it, Lois! No! I'm so sick of your crap! Why do you always do these stupid things? And why do you always announce them to me before you do them? Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Are you happy now? Welcome to Midnight Q. Tonight we're going to enjoy the smooth jazz of Charles Mingus. Norman Mailer is here to read an excerpt from his latest book. And then we also have a girl from Omaha who's hiding a banana. We'll find out where. Giggity giggity. Giggity goo. Stick around. We finally made it, Brian. We're in India. Excuse me, man with no pupil? Where can we get a taxi cab around here? All right, let's do it, Stewie. Let's go find Padma. Shouldn't be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. <laughs> this is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Lois! 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 Is your wife named Lois too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Hey, what are you... Lois! 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 And what's this giant, empty, football stadium-sized room? Oh, the post office anticipates that within the next five years, at least 200 million men in this country will be ordering and receiving real dolls. Every man will have seven to nine real dolls. Asians, blonde southern girls, blonde Asians capable of performing every possible sexual act, or at least incapable of refusing. You can put one in your car and drive in the carpool lane with it, and then maybe you push your head down, thus defeating the purpose of the carpool lane while fulfilling the purpose of the real doll. Maybe a trucker goes by. You say, hey, Janine, give him a show. Maybe later you ask yourself some tough questions like, why is it so important to you to impress and excite truckers? Anywho, grab that letter opener. I'm going to show you why you should never mail cash. Oh, thank God. Because just sitting here all sober is more boring than watching a pot boil. Hey, you. What are you doing? I like to watch. I want to watch you boil. I can't do it with you watching. Oh, not even if I do this? Don't do that. Oh, God. It's so hot. 
Oh, yeah? Then why don't I take your top off? Oh, oh, I'm boiling. I'm boiling. Yeah, now I'm going to stick my raw pasta in you. Peter, what's going on in there? Making dinner, babe. Chris, your mother and I want you to stop taking them pills. There's a lot of great things about having a sex drive that you're missing out on. Like what? Well, there's the post-orgy meals at a swingers party. Come on, let's eat with these wonderful people. Hey, everybody. Try my wife's ambrosia. If you like my wife's sniz, you're gonna love her ambrosia. I was thinking about this seven-layer dip the whole time I was chowing Ronald. I don't like this. I want to go home. You know what's sad? There's hardly any other fathers and sons here. Wow, you're really obsessed with Patty. You want her even more than I wanted the new iPhone. How's it going? Good, just looking forward to getting that new phone. What are you talking about? This isn't the Apple Store. This is a super gay club. Yeah, right. I leave and you get my phone. Nice try, cutie pie. And here's a trick to keep that confidence up. You go in that room and imagine everyone in it wants you sexually. I'm doing it right now. And I feel powerful. Okay. All right, now I'm going to go psych out these other kids. Hey, little guy. Nervous? Sure, yeah. Here's something that might help you. Hey, little guy. Stewie Griffin? Oh, right here. Peter, he needs a boost. Give him some of the acting soup. I want to say curse words! Okay, Stewie, you're just going to drink this juice, then say, mmm, and rub your belly. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah! Bye, Juice! That was amazing! I've got goosebumps. I want him sexually. Whoa, 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 no TV for you, Chris. TV is how stupid losers spend their time. Peter, what is this all about? I'm trying to save our son, Lois. I don't want him to end up like me. Dead-end job, crappy house, aging wife who's getting skinny where fat's supposed to be and fat where skinny's supposed to be. Ha! Meg, go to your room. Glenn Quagmire, neither he nor his assistant is available. To schedule a liaison, press 1. To cancel a liaison, press 2. If you're calling to report a pregnancy, please fill out our online form and we will mail you a check for $180. Thank you and have a giggity day. Chris, this is your mother. Get these dildos out of the dishwasher. Hey, Peter, can I ask you something? You're not just hanging out with me because I, I can buy you alcohol, right? What? Of course not. We're friends. Yeah, no, I, I know. That's 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 what I thought. And also, you bring me dead birds. I know Lois gets mad about it, but I like using them to point at things. Hey, did they move the bagels? Yeah, they're right there. Oh my god, what the hell is that? This? This is a pointing bird. Not all snake bites are lethal. <laughs> there! You have you were too late. We pooed on the gown. Ripped a big hole in your ceiling, too. I barfed on Peter's ass. I, I don't know if it got on the dress or not, Lois, but I, I, am, I am so sorry. Yeah, this was all a huge disaster. Let's just agree that we both went a bit too far, hmm? I, uh, I might, I might need two weeks off from this friendship. Ooh, a text! I'm taking care of our problem. We'll be together soon. Love, Gretchen. Huh. Meg, you're kind of a loner psychopath. What does this mean? Oh, this woman is clearly a spurned lover who's planning to kill mom. Ah, thank you. Yeah! You're a good dog, Meg. Yeah! Why are we at a health food store? Well, we gotta get that ring out of you. And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know, let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. <laughs> There's too many of them. We've got to start a chant so they'll file out into the street. All sex is rape. All sex is rape. All sex is rape. All sex is rape. When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now, we're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States. <laughs> 
Oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Tonight, when they put that crown on my head, it's going to be the greatest night of my life. Even better than when I had my first kiss. All right, I gotta get through this. I'm just gonna go to my happy place. Go to your happy place, Peter. Oh, and you're wearing the necklace I gave you! Well, if I were you, I'd sure be excited. You're only one number away from having a bingo. I am? Wait, you mean if they call... Oh, 74. <gasps> bingo! You were right, Joe. This is awesome. I've never won anything. Well, except for when I won that Tory spelling bee. Peter, your word is equine. Peter reached this round by accurately spelling collagen, repulsive, and botched. We now return to the extended director's cut of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Charlie, don't forget what happened to the boy who got everything he ever wanted. He lived happily ever after, but he did have to earn it. Hint, hint. Do it, Charlie! I'm not going back to that four-person bed! Hell, I'll do it if you want! No, it has to be a child! What did he just say? Brian, this does not seem appropriate to watch in front of the baby. Not appropriate? You took me to see Magic Mike XXL. Yep, this one's wet. Uh, this one, too. Also wet. Huh. This one's dry, but the back of the seat in front of it is wet. Wow, can I have a turn? Hey, which one of you threw that apple at my car? He did it. He dragged me out here. I wanted to be in school, sir. Where'd you get a cannon like that, kid? I work out my right arm three times a day. Mm, free weights? No, mostly JPEGs of Helen Hunt on my hard drive. How did you get a hernia? Actually, I got it performing an incredible act of heroism. Oh, my God! Somebody help me! I'm sinking! <laughs> Hurry! I can't hold it! Okay, let me just unstrap my baby! Oh, 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 slipping, slipping, sorry! We now return to Doctor Who Farted. <laughs> Doctor, the alien attack has begun. We've got to return to the 21st century. Uh, we can't go into the time machine right now. But they're going to kill us all! All right, all right, just one second. So, how was your weekend? Well, I, I should probably say no, but I've never been known for my good judgment. I mean, that's how I got into trouble with the PETA catcher. your lollipops. Lollipops, come along, Peter. Peter, you mustn't. I've got cream pies, trinkle tarts. Trinkle tarts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get so molested. Away! No one may meet the king's gaze! So, uh, hey, congratulations again on that, uh, homecoming thing. Why congratulate me on a right and natural turn of events? Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall select three things from Stewie's room that I wish to be mine. There's a book in there on how to eat healthy. Why don't you take that, you fat bitch? Oh, you are a writer? Are you famous? By choice, no. No, sometimes fame brings a lot of unwanted attention. I mean, look at William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Hi. Nice collar, you fruit. Thank you. Hey, Shakespeare, what's the title of your next play? You should call it Homosexual Collar Guy. Ah, 
Thy japes and jabs cut me to the quick, squire. What does that even mean? I know. It means I use this collar as a bib for when I service guys. Thank ye, thank ye. So, how'd you like the collar? Tis not for me. Oh my god, Peter, our dishwasher is full of sex toys. Oh yeah, Chris put those in there. It's for his job. He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that, he also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. So brace yourself when you open iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, my parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? What do you mean Chris won't take a dive? We already took a ton of bets. Look, I'm sorry, you guys, but my hot piece of ass wife says no way. That's a weird time to brag about your wife, Peter. I don't know. I've just been so horny today. Oh, man, I don't need to know that. Well, pull it together, Peter, because we're about to lose a lot of money. Well, you guys are creeping me out. All right, I'm going to exit while discreetly checking out the hot chick by the door. Hey, baby, you want a party? Get in. You guys having a good night? I like that it's getting dark earlier. Big Pete, help! She wants to do German things! German things! What? No! He hasn't eaten anything in days! It's not gonna work! Nine! Nine! Ah, she's got us both! Help us, pimps and hoes! Help us, HBO camera crew! Dad refuses to interact with any actors on set. He'll only rehearse with helium balloons with crudely drawn faces on them. I'm sorry, Meg, but you're grounded. But, Dad, the prom is tonight. Over. You heard your father, Meg. Over. Peter, you ready to hit the drunken clam? Over. It's difficult having to give up my chair for the balloon, but that's the business we call show. Excuse me, Joe. Can I tell you a story about another little boy? Um, okay. When I was your age, I grew up in London when the Blitz had just ended. Good God, how old are you? Our neighborhood was reduced to rubble. And in the chaos, I searched desperately for my parents. Mom! Mom! Mother! Mother! Mom! Mummy! 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 Mummy, mum, mother. Don't. Don't what? You know what. Wow, feels real good to be a veteran. Even better than buying a bottle of Newman's Own. This makes me a good person. Hey, someone just bought a bottle of bland salad dressing. Now we can use all proceeds to do jihad stuff. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Ready to invest? Why are you still wearing that unitard? Can't get it off because my hog's too big. Well, here, let me help you get it off. No, 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 no. I pooped. I pooped. Dad, what are you doing here? I'm here to bring you home. Well, I'm not going. I'm staying here and smoking dope. What? No son of mine is going to be smoking dope. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three martini lunch? What? No son of mine is going to be drinking a three martini lunch. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your five scotch breakfast? What? No son of mine is going to be drinking a five scotch breakfast. Why not, Dad? Is it any worse than your three X's drawn on the jug corn whiskey moonshine? What? No son of mine drink anything but rice wine. That's right. We trace our early family roots to Asia. You see, right there, this device is a perfect example of how we continue to become more inept due to our dependency upon machines. There was a time, not too long ago, when people would talk to each other. Yeah, the bad times, the sucky ages. Our society is doomed. People and technology are a bad match, just like moms and Radiohead. Oh, no. No, no, this isn't music. No, I don't like this, David. No, that's enough. No, David, I don't like that. No. Hold it right there, Professor Moriarty. 
Sherlock Holmes? How did you know it was me? When I see a man about to go on a sea voyage and not wearing a top coat, with no watch fob, and whose spats are not fully buttoned... And the jewels hanging out of my hat? Yeah, and the jewels hanging out of your hat. <coughs> He's got a gun! Look out, Stuart! Holmes! God, this is gonna be so annoying. Watson, the scepter! <coughs> ah, lucky shot! There was no luck involved. From the angle you were aiming the gun, I extrapolated the path of the bullet and triangulated the deflection point. Uh, is this, is this speech for me? Because he's dead. You idiot! You shut down the entire internet! How could you do that? This is the most irresponsible thing that I... Although I was incensed by this man, I had to admire his courage for leaving his penis out the entire time I was yelling at him. As a man who struggles with body dysmorphia, I couldn't help but be impressed by that kind of self-confidence. As I stood there being berated by this man, I couldn't help but notice his searching gaze. Years later, we would bump into each other at a small cafe in Rome and reminisce about this moment, and later still recreate it in a small bed and breakfast at the bottom of the Spanish steps. But that's a story for another time. Or, as they say in Italian, molto homo. All right, everyone, it's time to open up our bank statements. Let's gather around for prayer. Hey, God, it's the Griffins. Again, we're very sorry we cyberbullied that girl to death, but we still want a snowmobile. Today, though, please let there be money in our bank account. Amen. 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 What was that, Rupert? Oh, yes. Yes. No. I don't know, maybe. Maybe buy? That's ludicrous. That's not Tyrese. What are you talking about? They look nothing alike. Ludacris looks like a human peanut, and Tyrese looks slick. He looks like a Chinese black. Like Africa and Asia had sex while Europe sat on a chair in the corner of the hotel room and watched. Ludacris, human peanut. Tyrese, Chinese black. Are you going to keep talking like this during the whole thing? What? I'm answering Rupert's questions. Now we're going to have to rewind. We just missed the scene where half the team steals a tank while the other half pretends to be a DJ for some reason. Damn it! Yeah, okay, I'm going to the bar. Suit yourself. Rupert and I are just fine without you. Yeah, you're right. I bet he is on his period. Whatever that means. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Gross, gross, gross. Ew, ew, ew. No, 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 no. All right, everyone. Because today is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Not yet, Griffin. I thought it might be a nice treat. To... Griffin! Thank you. To let everyone leave a little bit early. Christmas! Fine. Everybody have a nice holiday. Teach. Reservation? Yeah, I decided we're going someplace nice this time. Not like last year when we went to the Outback Steakhouse. But it's out, as in the gay way. We'll get to the specials, but first, I need to tell you, I'm gay. The hell you are! No waiter of mine is gonna be gay! Peter, please! He's our waiter! He's the only waiter we have. Lois, our waiter is dead to us. We have to focus all our attention on our hostess now. He, he just needs a little time. Scott, I'm finally ready to hear the specials. Hi, this is Vin Diesel. Welcome to the DVD menu. Oh boy, you're hungover. How are you going to do nothing today? Oh my god. Rupert? No! Rupert! Rupert! Hi, this is Vin Diesel. Oh man, did your friend kill your other friend? That's betrayal. That's not strong. Danny Trejo is strong. Uh, come on, guys. This is getting embarrassing. I see the tissue box is empty. Somebody was going through those like, well, tissues. <laughs> I hope he didn't get cancer all over this seat. Ugh. Yuck. Bad luck. Yes, just look at our great city bustling with activity. Even the chimney sweeps are hard at work. It's all dirty in here. I don't care. Keep going. Shouldn't I wear some sort of protective suit? Why? Don't you trust me? I do. But our friend Bartholomew went in lots of chimneys in the 80s, and now he's sick. This is Peter, breadwinner and head of household. Lois is the name of his wife. These are their children. This is Chris, the firstborn son. 
This is Little Stewie. Oh boy, he's a handful. Meg. And introducing Doodles Weaver as Brian the Dog. We don't trust just any cigarette for our children. Raleigh Kids is the only cigarette made for tiny hands. It's why it's the playground favorite. Right, kids? <laughs> <laughs> My hand. I mean, your hand. It's mine. Yes! Stewie, I think it worked. We did it. We switched bodies. Wow, this is really weird. It feels like... Hey, what the hell have you been complaining about? Hey, Peter, who are these guys? Oh, this is just my looping gif of black teens reacting to a very mild burn. Huh, sounds kind of pointless. Oh, you mean like your feet? <gasps> on Family Guy. Certain of his own wit and intellect, Brian opened up a Twitter account. If you ask me, Twitter is the perfect place for that guy, because he's a twit. But an off-color tweet suddenly made Brian a pariah to all of Quahog, forcing the family to make the difficult choice of sending him to a crappy apartment on the other side of town. Brian, the family has spoken. You know, you're the only man in America who looks good in sandals and cargo shorts. Good luck, everyone. I'll miss you. Oh, uh, something's coming. Thanks, Grandpa. This Christmas is perfect, isn't it, Mom? Almost, Meg. Almost. Yeah, it is. Except every time Grandpa bends over to get a present, his robe opens up. Let's see. I think this is for Chris. Good God. Looks like two eggs in an old handkerchief. Chris, you gotta snap out of this. I mean, I've been where you're at. Listen, I've never told anyone this, but I killed a jaywalker in 2002. She looked old, but she was only 51. I mean, back then, that was old to me. It's why I always talk and ask questions so much. When there's any moment of quiet, I think about her. That's why all mothers do that. Every mother has killed someone. Now drink your ginger ale. This isn't going to make me forgive you, you know. That's fine. I'm going to say uncomplimentary things about your ass the whole way. Go ahead. You know, maybe it's appropriate that you're my ride-up. Rupert always called you my bitch. Want to know some of the other things he called you? Fat Lassie. Scooby Don't. Rin Tin Twink. Poopy Snoopy. Mama Dookie. Clifford the Big Red Sphincter that we see all the time because you don't put your tail down. Snoop Doggy Dick. Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. It's hot already? Yes, it's an electric kettle. We don't have that at our house. My mother boils water in an old Jiffy Pop tin. She's just a useless old slut. Constance had the tickets for our honeymoon to Paris. No doubt she'll be using those for her escape. Very well, then we're off to France. That's right, we're off to Gay Paris. What's this now? Gay Paris. Some, some people call it Gay Paris. Oh, then I suppose I should change. Let's get separate rooms just so we can spread our stuff out. Can we get a television set? Sorry, Chris. We don't got the money. I spent our entire savings building that stupid fallout shelter we never get to use. Why don't you just buy a TV for the weekend, watch Elvis, <laughs> and then return it on Monday and say it doesn't work? Boy, even in the 50s, you're a scumbag. What's wrong, honey? Well, it's a long story, but I was really hoping to come home with a job and a girlfriend today. I could be your girlfriend and give you a job. Really? This day is starting to look up? Follow me into the men's room. Is this... is this dating? Is this how dating works? <laughs> You're cute. I like you. Help! She's trying to eat me! Get back here! You owe me a hundred dollars! Anton! We got a runner! You better pay my wife, bitch! Go, go, Brian Doglegs! How are we gonna get back to the airport? There's no internet, which means there's no GPS, which means we can't use Uber. Okay, I have a crazy idea. Let's get a cab. There's a taxi stand. Dead. 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 Barely alive! To the airport! Oh, you are a writer? 
Are you famous? By choice, no. No, sometimes fame brings a lot of unwanted attention. I mean, look at William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare. Aye. Nice collar, you fruit. Thank ye. Hey, Shakespeare, what's the title of your next play? You should call it Homosexual Collar Guy. Ah, by japes and jabs cut me to the quick, squire. What does that even mean? I know. It means I use this collar as a bib for when I service guys. Thank ye. Thank ye. So, how'd you like the collar? Tis not for me. Oh, that must be Jerome. What the hell's Jerome doing here? We didn't order any drinks. No, he and I got plans. We're gonna go down to Carver High School and look at that mural of black achievement. Mm, they got a manila folder taped over Dr. Cosby's face. What? Cleveland, you didn't tell us you had plans with Jerome. Some things are my business. You don't tell me when you play with yourself. Well, if you checked my Twitter feed, I wouldn't have to. God, I like it here. But what am I doing? I don't have a fancy house. I'm living a lie, like FDR. And so I say to you, America, we are going to win this war. We're going to end this depression. And there's no reason to suspect that I cannot walk. God bless America. And cut! The newsreel's over. Thank you, Mr. President. You're welcome, gentlemen. Now, if you'd kindly kick me into the closet with the mops. Ah, must be a yell man. Shut up. Hey, you can play over there in the sandbox, honey. Mommy's just gonna read her book. Okay, I'm just gonna walk 30 feet away and then panic because I can't see you. Can you fit me in at 10 tomorrow? It's getting a little long on the sides. Brian? What are you doing on a leash? And who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Yeah, it's great. I just pretend to be their dog, and then when he leaves for work, I get to go to the pound, if you know what I mean. God, Brian, you are such a scumbag. I can't believe you. Mommy! Mommy! Where's my mommy? I have no one and nothing! I'm right here, honey. Oh, thank God. <gasps> I've been touched by greatness. I am never washing this hand again. This is the best thing to happen to me since I became a wise-cracking, fourth-wall-breaking superhero. Call me Red Stool. The treatment didn't give me powers, but it did spread cancer to my anus. Just call me anus of the morning. Anus. Just touch my cheek before you leave me. Anus. This violence juxtaposed to music. Anus. Decapitation is... These threads are from a Scotsman's plaid kilt. The telltale locks of red hair. But most significantly, the Scottish brute replaced his victim's intestines with bagpipes. <coughs> Wanna give it a whirl? gonna do we're way outgunned are any of you familiar with what's referred to as a Leroy Jenkins well I don't know what that is but let's make a very long elaborate plan all right so I'll run in first and use an intimidating shout when my shouts done I'll need Joe to come in and use his shout too what do you think Joe can you give me a number crunch real quick yeah give me a sec I'm coming up with uh, 32.33 repeating of course okay that's a lot better than we usually do so let's Leroy Jenkins! Oh my god, he just ran in. Let's go! Stick to the plan! Let's go! Let's go! Aw, oh, man! Ah, oh, we're dying! Damn it, Cleveland! Where'd they get dragons? These guys have magic, guys. Can't move! Oh, god! You know, Cleveland, you're an idiot. This episode has a lot of internet things. This new hat looks pretty sharp. I bet it does. Shall I alert you when DickCaps.com is having another sale? Sure, I'll get that pre-frayed visor. I, um... I like you, Brandy. I like you, too. That's weird. You're on a weird date. Peter, what are you doing here? Pulling the popcorn bucket trick on myself? I still can't find it. This is humbling. 
All right, guys, I gotta come up with some social media ideas for the brewery. What do you got? Oh, you want viral? You asked the right guy. You remember Leroy Jenkins. Yeah? Right. What do you mean, right? You know, Leroy Jenkins. What about him? Do that. Joe, you can't... That already happened. Do it again. This time with beer. Hang on a sec. My leg is broken! Only thing I can possibly do is lick it repeatedly. There we go. That's fixing it. For 60 years, Sunday has meant God, football, and family guy. And later, to a lesser degree, The Simpsons. Premiering in 1952 as a recurring sketch in the popular Dow Chemical Follies, Family Guy has survived 19 cancellations, two assassination attempts, and a pretty good ribbon by those South Park guys. Well, tonight we take a look back at classic episodes from our first three decades. Oh, here come some tourists. I know. I'll sit here and pretend I'm a wax figure. Who is that? That's the fat idiot from The Family Guy. Ugh, I hate that show. Me too. Huh. Samurai or geishas? Which one am I? I'll just wait till somebody else goes in. Well, that wasn't helpful. Vladimir Putin? Da. Where is bathroom? I George Brett myself on plane. Gross. You can Google that during the commercial. What the hell is that? My booberry hand. I swore I'd never wash it again, even though Lois keeps telling me to. You should listen to her. Yeah, Peter, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah? Take that! Ah! Hey, that started happening yesterday. To the bathroom! We gotta get him to wash that hand. Yeah, I'll text Lois, see if we can all come up with something. Just reply to that last gift she sent of the sloth putting on the headphones. <laughs> I love that one. Is it weird that we're in a group text with our friend's wife, but not our friend? No, what's weird is that your bitmoji can walk. I'm allowed to have legs in the phone world. This isn't even how I really talk. This is. This is how I talk. The accent is nothing more than an affectation. A coat of armor to get me through the day. Just an image I cultivated so I could feel special. <sighs> wow. What a relief. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not. What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. How about now? You freaking hear that? What about now? Sound different? Giggity? What about now? Coming up now, this voice. Ahoy, it's me. And I'm a gay alien. I'm sorry, that just all sounds like the same person. It's cutting-edge technology, Watson. Exchange money for sexual services, Governor. Are you a Bobby? You have to tell me. Mind the gap. Astounding. Yes. Now, I'll stroll around the block, and you'll proposition me loud enough so the killer can hear. Love for sale. Appetizing young love for sale. Love that's fresh and still unspoiled. Love that's only slightly soiled. Love for sale. Looking good, honey. No blacks. Love for sale. Race contingent love for sale. What are you up to? Are you kidding? I've been looking at stocks all morning. I'm already up 5% on the day. Wow, good for you. You're really taking to this. I wish I'd brought you in on this earlier. Together, we're going to make a fortune. Well, hold on, Stewie. I'm not some run-of-the-mill Wall Street scumbag only in this for the profits. For every dollar I make, one goes to me and one goes to charity. I'm going to rent a Ferrari and cruise the pier. You want in? Well, cancer's not going anywhere. I'm sorry, Billy. You're one dollar short of being able to afford the surgery you need. Yay! Sweet. I know those guys. Yeah, we'll have a round of beers for the table. Yep, we got her too. Brian, you've got to help me. 
Lois signed us up for some perverse PP-related class on the female orgasm. She's crazed. Wow. You've got to get here with a machine so I can fix it. Right, so I can take your place in Peter's body. No, bring everybody. We've got to get things back to normal. And hurry, she's all revved up. <laughs> 45 minutes to Weekapog. If we hurry, we can get there before Stewie's scarred for life. Brian, it's only 10.30 a.m. Why does my body crave alcohol? That's perfectly normal for this time of day. I'm sweating and shaking and planning out lies. Yeah, well, why do I have the overwhelming urge to eat Cheetos and masturbate in the woods? Well, because it's 10.30 a.m. Brian, I've got great news. We're going for a ride in the car? No, our portfolio's up 30%. In fact, we're so successful now, we have to make one of those sappy investment commercials. Thanks to my investments, I've watched my money grow. And my little girl. Dad, thanks for making my big day possible. Don't thank me. Thank Fidelity. Okay, I'm ready to marry you now. Wait, what? No, I'm your dad. Yes, you are. This is what's happening. Fidelity, we're there for you when your baby marries his dog dad. I only push Tyler down the stairs because I like him and I'm afraid he won't like me back. And, and not like him, like him. I'm not gay. This whole thing isn't because I'm gay, so, so calm down. I can already see you licking your chops. I'm sure you live for the coming out sessions. If anything, I'm less gay than I used to be. Not that anybody at this school would care. But do I think that Grant Gustin and I would make the most adorable Instagram couple? Yes, yes, we would. Grant Gustin plays the Flash on the CW, if you were wondering, because, you know, most people over 70 probably don't know who he is. Think young Anthony Perkins. Ah. Oh. There we go. So what? I'm not leaving you either. Oh, really? Brian, let's be honest. You're a middle-aged dog. You don't have that many years left. And one day, all too soon, I'm going to be crying at your funeral in an Armani suit. And people are going to be like, oh, nice suit. And I'm going to be like, why are you talking about my awesome $2,000 suit? My friend's dead. Feels like that story is less about me and more about your suit. Excuse me, sir. What's the next stop for this train? Ugh, I hate when they let the infirm ride on the train. Next stop! Station. Sir, you owe an apology to me and all the good people of... It's nice of the locals to act as their own train crossings. Excuse me, gentlemen, you're under arrest. What? Why? You three are in violation of the Stolen Valor Act, which makes it a crime to pretend to be a veteran. Oh, so suddenly it's a crime to break the law? Mr. Quagmire, you're free to go, but the rest of you will have to come with me. I thought we had it bad being gay overhead bins. What makes us gay? We've got bags in our mouths. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Brian, you've turned into a monster. Hey, that's offensive to the monster community. Yeah, some of us are nice. Yeah, real nice. Weren't you charged with sexually abusing a 16-year-old? Elmo's accuser recanted and admitted the relationship was consensual. Yeah, but wasn't there another case that was only thrown out because the statute of limitations had expired? Elmo, no comment. Cookie! Ah, oh, he wants a cookie! Oh, I love the Muppets. Chris, I see in the paper that Vietnam is still going on, and as a blue-collar TV dad, I demand you enlist. Peter, you can't send Chris to Vietnam. They're bombing women and children. You have no idea how bad it is over there. I don't. Oh, I know war, my friend. I stormed the beaches at Normandy. Ah! Of course, it was 1958, so the resistance wasn't quite as stiff. No running! I said no running! I'm not running! Stewie? Brian, where the hell are you? Lois just asked me if I want to see her kid's first apartment. What does that mean, Brian? I'm so frightened and confused! We've got much bigger problems. We hit a telephone pole, the machine activated, and it swapped everybody in town. Good God! We've got to fix this! Peter, I'm gonna open the door with no hands. <coughs> Assembled congregants, no worries to you. And also to you. Let us tweet. Peter, why is he naked in there? It's an environmental statement. Lois, please stop looking at my dead friend's dong. Listen, I made breakfast and drove, so if there's a dead dong, I'm gonna look at it. I can see you're a little nervous, Peter, but I'm telling you, it is easier than you think. Watch. Go! He 
You know, just when I thought he couldn't get any cooler, he goes, holy sh Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, what, what, just, there's almost nothing left of him. And I just know I'm gonna be the one to have to identify the body. That's him. Poor guy. He looks like a bowl of tomato soup. Guy next to him died in a fire. He looks like a grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, these two poor souls are the best combination for a rainy Saturday. Is this the stuff you didn't want me to ask you about? I told you not to ask me about that. He went rogue and saved everyone's lives. But he didn't do it by the book. Is that why he can't get an erection? Everyone stop talking about me! Listen, it's not me that's asking. It's America. Tell America my answer is no. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go change my mind in the shower. Peter's country needs him, but he just doesn't know. He's scared he'll miss his shows, and he's expecting a UPS package. Who's gonna water his plants? He's got a lot of balls in the air, that's for sure. Ready for turkey day? <laughs> Clever. Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? <laughs> Happy Turkey Day, Quahog. This is Tom Tucker and Joyce Kinney live at the parade. We've got some on and off drizzle here today, and we're a little wet, as you can see, because apparently there are no awnings that exist anywhere. There's your top news story right there. Mysterious awning shortage ravages the Northeast, but miraculously has not affected channels two or six. Can't believe you invited the whole family. You know I hate big Thanksgivings. Don't worry, Peter. It's gonna be fun, and I can handle most of the prep myself. I just need you to go to the market and get some extra napkins. That's not so bad. Oh, pick up some wine for the adults. I can do that. A and put the extra leaf in the dining room table. And here comes the Rocky and Bullwinkle float. Always a popular sight here at the... Does somebody want to handle that? Does, some, does somebody, somebody want to deal with that? The car alarm would. You're kidding. Well, viewers, to top it off, that's the Channel 5 news van you're hearing. That table ain't been opened in five years. It'll be fine. Just don't drink while you do it. And for God's sake, don't lose your temper with Chris. All right. One, two, three. Yep. <laughs> One more time. Yep. Okay, all right, bend the knees. Let's give it a good pull. Yep. Yeah, I think one side is stuck. Do you, son? F Phil, Phil, just open it. Unlock the doors. You don't have to put the key in the ignition. Well, open the driver's side first. Okay, well, I guess it's broken then, and there's nothing we can do about it. Okay, happy Thanksgiving, Quahog. Here's a car alarm. <sighs> all right, well, I guess we'll just... Ah, there we go. Okay, on three. One, two... Three. Yep. 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 I think it's still stuck. Oh, is that right? A lot of narration. It's like opening a table with Ken Burns. What the hell? Mom! Mom, it's me! Mom! Oh, yeah, it's a baby. It's a big balloon baby, just like you're a baby. No, it's me! It's a balloon of me! Peter, come look at this. He sees a baby and knows that he's also a baby. So smart. Mama's smart little boy. Why don't you go easy on that stuff? This stuff is the only thing stopping you from getting so karate chopped right now. Okay, big pull on three. All right, one, two, three. Yep! It's this one side. It's just stuck. I know it's stuck! Everyone sees it's stuck. Are there voices you're hearing shouting it's not stuck? Because if you hear any argument from anybody who says it isn't stuck, you send them to me and I will so karate chop them in the face. Live from New York City, it's the JCPenney Thanksgiving Day Parade. The JCPenney Parade? Yeah, it's like the Macy's Parade, only without licensed characters. With the popular balloons we all know and love, Mickey Rabbit, Sponge Cow, and Clifton, the small blue dog. Oh, I'm not sure that that's what? gonna... What? What are you sure about? Yep. 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 Hey, Chris. Table looks stuck. Oh, really? Sky blue, says Star Witness. Let me show you something that's funny. Okay, here's an impression of John Wayne on the first Thanksgiving. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Where's this guy?
dive in. Peter, we've got a house full of people coming, and they're expecting a turkey. Well, if they're expecting a turkey, I'll just put on Evan Almighty for them. Zap! You and Brian better get another turkey right now, and don't bother coming back until you do. Uh, well, Mr. Griffin, this has been uh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, but uh, we got to get back over to our place mm -hmm. and uh, kind of uh, do it. Uh, uh, what do we have to do? Roll some joints and get high. Yeah, we got to do those things. That's not funny. Drugs aren't funny. They ruin lives. Amen. No, Peter, you're not funny. I'm afraid Dan's right. You're not funny at all. I don't get it. You're painfully unfunny. Get the f out of my house! And those two bums turned to me and said, You're not funny, Peter, in my own house. Well, what was the bit? Okay, ready? I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Oh my, oh, my. oh, my God, Peter. Yeah, I'll tell you, and I'm your friend, and I'll be honest with you, that's funny. That is funny. And you know what I appreciate about your joke, Peter? It's clean. It's clean funny. Crap, looks like they're completely sold out. Yeah, sorry, we just sold our last turkey to that guy. You are the turkey I have chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey. <laughs> Moving it forward. He's moving it forward. See, Peter? Now tap Peter. Hey, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. It's me, John Wayne. Who's in the pharmacy? John Wayne. What the? Peter, you're not supposed to be in the audience. Get the hell up on stage. All right. Hey there, sir. Welcome to my pharmacy. Can I help you? Here's John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Hey, you don't sell turkeys here, do you? We've been to every grocery store in town with no luck. No, the only thing we really sell here are these little packets of weird vitamins that vaguely suggest they help you in the bedroom. Performance and stamina for men. I know what that means. Look who's here! Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. You guys, thanks so much for having us over. Well, we're just glad we can have people over again now that that giant crab's gone. Hey, guys, how you doing? Come on in. No, 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 Just go around it. He's not going to hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 All right, I tried just going under him. I think we should probably just go home. Maybe we'll do it another time. No, 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 no. I can't believe every turkey within a 60-mile radius of Quahog is sold out. I know. Now we're so far from home, none of your stations even work. On the 15 for Coming up in two minutes. This is going to be a really special Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving! We brought chicken wings. Oh, yum! I hope they're the kind with the bone removed. Chris, are Brian and your father back yet? No, and why are you saying the dog's name before Dad's? It's weird. Uh, that is weird. You're right. Well, they better get here soon. I can't host this Thanksgiving dinner on my own. Hey, Aunt Carol. Hey, Uncle Adam. La, 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 la. Don't mention last night's Project Runway. I've got it on TiVo. Happy Thanksgiving. I brought marshmallow peeps. Oh, okay. I'm going to need that Pyrex dish back. Okay. I'm going to need it back now. Oh. I don't want anything else today to get as tense as that just got. And with him gone, that makes you the man of the house. I sentence you to death! Chris, Chris, slow down. Well, I'm just saying, without Peter here, you're going to have to be the host of Thanksgiving. You have to do everything the fat man normally would. You mean like fall asleep on the toilet and have a big red ring on my bum for a week? Hi, uh, do you have any turkeys? Sure do. You're looking at one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to know me to know. I'm just joking. Sir, the day we've had, we could use a good chuckle like that. You folks are in luck. Looks like we have one turkey left. Uh, Mom, Daddy, you're right on time. Happy Thanksgiving, dear. We brought some wine, but it's good wine, so it's just for us. Damn it. Where the hell are they with that turkey? Hey, scoot over. As the oldest guy here, it's my duty to take an open mouth nap in the middle of the room. <coughs> Brian, look. An eight-foot basket. Let me just dunk the turkey once. I know I can jam it. That's not a regulation rim. Okay, you know what? I'm in charge of the turkey. You're driving. Ah, uh, there's nothing worse than grocery shopping on the day before Thanksgiving. 
Yeah, that's the sound a rich family's turkey makes. There's still a lot more groceries in the car. Well, it's not a race. Take a break. Uh, if you knew how close we were to putting you down last year. Jeez, what's her problem? Uh, Thanksgiving's exhausting. <gasps> oh, my God! Coming this winter, actors who don't look familiar in shows you're pretty sure you've never heard of on networks you've definitely never heard of. First, it's The Marriage Man on Digo Audience Prime Plus. Then, Frenemy on Gold Star. And don't forget the J. Tory Hampton Show on Tracks. <laughs> Lump Monkeys on Forge. Comeuppance on LFR America. Tattle Babies on Blitz Kids. And Snapchatters on Perspire. <sighs> Not now! Not like this! <laughs> <laughs> Peter, what the hell? You chose a turkey over me? I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. Who's watching them? Probably no one. Are they comedies or dramas? We're not even sure. Turn your office water cooler into a modern day Tower of Babel. The Marriage Man! Love Monkeys! Love Monkeys! Love Monkeys! Love Monkeys! Love Monkeys! Gay Paris! TV. What a mess. Excuse me, can you help us? We're trying to get back to Quahog. If you want, I can take you as far as the bus station. You can? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that is the nicest thing anyone's done for me since my kids gave me that Father's Day gift. Oh, look, a tie. Perfect. Too much candy? What do you mean, too much candy? There's too much candy. There used to be four candies. Bullseyes, Yahoo's, Sweet Yarn, and cigarettes. Now I go into a store, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Oh, thank God we got on this bus. I really had to poop. Wait, where, where's there a bathroom on this bus? I didn't say there was a bathroom. I just said I had to poop. Oh, my God! This is gross, even for a bus! Is there anything else? Why don't ball players wear giant woolen shirts anymore? What's wrong with wool? It was a perfect fabric. You go to the ballpark, get your bag of bullseyes, and watch Hack Wilson round the bases in a big wool shirt. I once saw Hack hit a ball out of the infield. I still remember the thud of the bat and the whoosh of the wool. <sighs> I wish things were still heavy. Son, son, I, I told you. Out here in the wilderness, call me Rooster Cogburn. You know, Rooster, I was starting to think you didn't like me anymore. Shh, Chris, look. Tracks. There must be a deer around here. Well, those are snowmobile tracks. Shh, there he is. Ah, oh, such grace. Now the rails are off this thing. All right, Chris, this is where you as host need to step in and... Chris? Chris? What the hell? Are you drunk? <laughs> okay, let's pick teams. I'll be a captain, and, uh, Mayor West, you can be a captain. All right, I pick you. You can't pick me. I'm a captain. No one had ever stood up to me like that before. I respected him from there on out. Yeah, because we don't want to make a big mistake. Like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey, man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park, I'll tell you that much. Well, that's not completely true, because I have a group on and I'd hate to waste it. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. That's a great story, Grandpa. I didn't like it. None of my grandchildren had ever disliked one of my stories before. From then on, he was my favorite. Well, I don't like that story, Great Grandpa. <laughs> Future old people are wizards. Hi there, folks. Hand over the turkey. What? I can't go back to my wife without a turkey. Oh, yeah? Bet that thing's not even loaded. You just used your last bullet. Running on empty now. Brian, give him the turkey. Okay, so here's the game. I'm I'm drunk, and I'm gonna throw the football too hard at my kids. Oh, Dad, do we have to? Ah! Don't cry. Don't cry. Game's over if you cry. Peterson, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be down at your job making oblong bricks out of manure and straw? No, we're off. It's Martin Luther Day. Aha! Yes, that's a very smart joke. Isn't that right, comedy professors? Oh, oh yeah. well done, indeed. Mm -hmm. 
Peter, I think you may have had one too many. Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. That's it. The belt is coming off. God, I love this time of year. It's just past all the amazing colors of fall and before the white of winter. Just brown and gray. Magical. Let's play ball! Yeah, let's play ball. Ow! The world has changed around me, and I'm mad and scared. Damn it, you guys are ruining Thanksgiving. And it's my second favorite holiday, right after pretend not to notice people's race day. Hey, you seen Reggie around? Which one is Reggie? Oh, uh, well, today he's wearing yellow pants, uh, yellow shirt, yellow hat, yellow shoes... Uh, he's got a gold tooth, a uh, diamond earring. Um, he's got that big necklace with a dollar sign on it. We stopped being a team when you framed me for eating that turkey with you. Brian, maybe you should be a little less mad at me and a little more mad at the guys growing mustaches for this month. Hey, don't mock Movember. Last year I raised $8 and got on a BuzzFeed listicle. No! You use real words! Internet stuff is not real words! Uh... He's always grabbing his crotch when he's telling a story, like the one about when he found out his mother is really his grandmother. Could you be more specific? Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, he always wears cheap cologne, uh, drives a Mercury Cougar with a crown on the dashboard, uh, never pays his alimony. Uh, he's extremely cut for a guy who never works out. Oh, there he is. Thanks, anyway. Hey, Reggie. Sorry, can't hear you. Too busy saving our family's Thanksgiving. Ah, oh, damn it. This is idiotic. You're never going to find a turkey in there. Oh, I'll find one. I mean, you're looking at the guy who found the Fountain of Youth. It's very far away from here. Okay, everyone. It'll be another hour before the turkey's done, but I made more appetizers. Ooh, grape jelly on a Triscuit. You're a whiz. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Save your appetite. I don't think I haven't noticed you've already had two drinks. You're like all the worst parts of a girlfriend. Chow time, boys! Yes, sir! Sergeant Major General Captain! Ah, come on, boys. It's Thanksgiving. Call me Major General Captain. Now you eat up! Hey, buddy. You want to come to my house so my wife can cook you wrong? This is nice. This is very nice. The time that we're spending together right now. Easy, Joe. Uh Sorry, just making mental memories for when you're all inevitably dead and I'm left alone. Jeez, Quagmire, help me out with this. Ah, it's another pleasant day for me, Peter the Strawberry. Hey, Mr. Worm, I welcome your arrival because we're all part of the same garden. Wait, wait, what are you... Oh, hey, wait, hey! Hey, get out of here! Hey! Ah, 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 ah. He was my neighbor and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. <laughs> Damn it. Peter, this is never going to work. All right, just leave the turkey alone. The poor thing is... Ah! Ah! What the hell? Knock it off! Ow! Damn it, I'm going to kill you, you dick! Oh, but Brian, it's getting away! Okay, everyone, it's 2.30. Time for dinner. Because on Thanksgiving, 2.30 is dinner time for some reason. I told you this is stupid. There's nothing good in here. Hey, look, a pair of working legs. Dibs on these. What? Oh, come on, Quagmire! Joe, I said dibs. No, no, you're right. You said dibs. He's not in here. Oh, crap. Easy there. Hey, it's Thanksgiving. Shouldn't you be in Detroit losing a football game right now? It will lead me like the shorebird that led the first pilgrims to Boston. Ahoy! Are you looking to build a city where sports fans can be notoriously racist? Yeah, and can we also ruin Sweet Caroline for everyone else? Absolutely! Oh, this looks fantastic. I can't wait to poop this out. Hey, who's gonna get the Thanksgiving dump trophy this year? You are! Dad's gonna get it! Who else? <laughs> <laughs> loving, loving family. Okay, I don't know if this is going to be a problem, but we forgot to bring the letter R. No problem at all. Right this way, large-faced whites. Let's go, Red Sox! Let's go, Red Sox! Look, guys, I'm not a hero, and I don't want to be treated any different than before. Just that you would say that means we should treat you different. Come on, guys, let's give them all our best food. Okay, now you eat up, and then we're all going to go out back and play some Thanksgiving touch football. Excuse me. 
War Hero Thanksgiving Touch Football. Yeah! USA! I didn't even know there was a war. We've come this far. Let's do it right. Hey, you got a tiny head and a big body. What if I switch that? Gotcha! All right, we did it! We got ourselves a turkey. This food is so good, Lois. Ah, oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, that move is badass. You're awesome. Know what else is awesome? The stuffing. Thank you, Glenn. You're welcome. I'm in a good mood. Meanwhile, Griffin Peterson and the other exiles pass the time on the ship to the New World. Ah, crap. A splinter. Well, it's been nice knowing you guys. Hey, fellas, you want to join me in a game of mumble peg? Oh, no thanks. Fine, I'll play by myself. <laughs> One nothing. <laughs> and then, so I'm like, Peter, how was I supposed to know you didn't want your teammates to know you wore a bra? <laughs> <laughs> it was a custom designed sports halter top. More stories, more stories. Hey, tell one where Peter is a nincompoop. Or maybe a silly billy. <laughs> oh, man. We're gonna build a new settlement. We'll have a happy new life and we'll have equal rights for all. Except blacks, Asians, Hispanics, Jews, gays, women, Muslims. Um, everybody who's not a white man. And I mean white, white. So no Italians, no Polish. Just people from Ireland, England, and Scotland. But only certain parts of Scotland and Ireland. Just full-blooded whites. No, you know what? Not even whites. Nobody gets any rights. Ah, America. Okay, let's just carve the turkey. Oh, and Karen already carved it. She did? But that's my thing. I always do my, are you a leg man or a breast man joke. And Karen did that too. It was hilarious. I never really got it until she said it. <laughs> I faked my death and went AWOL. <gasps> I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. You know what's crazy about this time of year? Everything is pumpkin spice. We all follow your Twitter feed, Joe. God, Thanksgiving is such a pain in the ass. I hate hosting. I hear you, Peter. I hate Thanksgiving, too. Bonnie's sister is married to a real show-off. Denise, Wendell, it's great to see you. Wendell. Joseph? It's just Joe. I think you know that. If anyone has wanted whipped cream on their pie, it's not my fault. I can't get a word in edgewise around here. Oh my god, where the hell have you been? And what are you doing with a live turkey? A live turkey who loves rollerblading? Our dog drew that. Ah, ah. Wow, I, I, I read that look wrong. You know, there's still some pumpkin pie left, everyone. That sounds good to me. Me too. Hey. Happy Thanksgiving to us all, huh? Wait! That man's an imposter. I'm the real Kevin Swanson. Guys, I don't think we have time for this. Our Thanksgiving's also a nightmare. Donna's cousins are two-thirds of Tony, Tony, Tony. Which ones? The E and the I. Ah, no Tony with a Y. That is correct. We lack the Alpha Tony. Come on, there's gotta be a way you'll let me in the gang without shivin' Cleveland. Oh, oh, I got an idea. There was this prison movie, and, and there was this guy who wanted to win over the other prisoners, and you know what he did? He ate seven eggs. It was amazing. So you bring me seven or some other reasonable amount of eggs. Peter, I know it's 50 eggs. Ah, you're a film buff. Yeah. Before this, I was in the USC director's program. Well, at least you guys celebrate with your families. Last year, I spent Thanksgiving with my old blow-up sex dolls. Here you go, Carla. See, we can do other things together. How's the turkey? I made it myself. I'll put a pot of coffee on. Janet, coffee? Carla, coffee? Dina, coffee? Sasha, coffee? Dad, coffee? I wish I had given you more siblings, Glenn. Well, kids, happy Thanksgiving. I wish Dad was here. Meg, could you zip up your fly? That, that's kind of wafting over here. Hey, now, what are you doing here? Me and Quagmire kind of had a falling out. And after that, I, I realized that... Meg, can you please stop stuffing your face for two seconds? <laughs> Come on, Peter, it's him or you. And and he's not so great. Don't forget, he's the one who told you all those schoolhouse rock spoilers. I had no idea that Bill would become a law. Ah! 
Sorry, Peter. My gang said I wasn't really loco unless I shivved someone, and you're the one guy without gang protection, so... Griffin Peterson and the other colonists worked day and night to build their new settlement until finally, after much hard work, the colony of Quahog was complete. Quagmire, I feel kind of bad leaving the family like this with Thanksgiving coming up. I mean, if I'm not dead, who's gonna carve the turkey? I don't understand! And so Lady Red Bush sailed off to the New World to find her beloved. And the timing was good because his new wife was a pain in him ass. And then I finished scrubbing the kettle, but then I saw that I'd missed a spot, and oh, I was so worried that the whole thing wasn't clean enough, so I went back and started washing it again, and sure enough, I'd missed another spot, and there was a clump of cornmeal under the rim from when I made breakfast. Shut up, Meg! I prithee shut up! Ah! Sorry, Quagmire. As a not cop, I have to shiv a guy in the Latin gang and then blame it on Cleveland. Ah! Oh! Oh! No one made me do this. I'm just sick of your overt racism. Guys, guys, stop! Stop! Look at us. We're shiving each other on Thanksgiving. Oh, wait, no one shivved Cleveland. Ah! Hey, Meg, Thanksgiving's over. Come help me with the Christmas decorations. Meg! Help me with the Christmas decorations! <gasps> Leafers! Holy crap, we gotta get out of here! You see, my wife thinks I'm an idiot. She's always making me feel small and insignificant, like John Goodman's heartbeat. Honey, my inside left boob stomach did that thing again. You mean your heart? Um, I don't know about any of that, but I think I should eat something. Too late! Yo, Matty, check out those colors. Yellow like a taxi, orange like the ball at the Knicks game, and red like the sauce on my Mamma Mia's gugots. We now return to the outlawed Josie Wales. Should we bury him? Nah, leave him for the buzzards. I like that guy. Oh boy, here comes Harry. He thinks no one will notice he got his neck done. Hey, fellas, I'm back from that family wedding. Ugh. Tonight's top story, Quahog is infested with loud, hairy creatures also known as New Yorkers. They migrate north every autumn to see the foliage. And I think I speak for all of us when I say that New York and everyone from there can fornicate themselves with an iron stick. Hold it, Meg. Those two are mine. What? That's Randy, and that's Fred. Randy is the messy one. Fred's very neat. And when you get them together, hoo-hoo, hold on to your sides. Nice to meet you both. <gasps> Murderer! She's Lois. Look at the garbage those damn leafers dumped on our lawn. New York Post, New York Magazine, the New York Mets. Huh? We're gonna be late for church. Move it! Damn leafers. Chris, quit it! Mom! Chris put his foot on my side again. I can't help it. I have these long dancer's legs. What the hell? If anyone should be her helper, it should be me. She's my mother. We're supposed to be a team, like the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Well, Tonto, the bad guys are going to jail. Looks like this little town is safe again. Yes, Kimosabi. So, uh, what do you say? Wanna grab a drink? Maybe dinner? Sorry, me no like to hang with work people. Move it! Meg, stop your whining. Chris, stay on your own side. Lois, for God's sake, get off your ass and do some parenting. If you kids don't knock it off, we're not going to McDonald's after church. Mom! Mom. Don't worry, we're going. But, but, but you don't get the super size. Ow! Oh. Okay, you can super size, but no apple pie. Oh, come on! Okay, you get an apple pie, but you can't blow on it. They've been the most elite family in this country ever since it was founded. They were the ones who invented the buckle on the hat. Hey, I like your zipper hat. I like your zipper hat. Morning, fellas. Oh, that's gonna be a game changer. Oh, man, this hologram thing is the best idea since the Mayflower hired a cruise director. Okay, everyone. From 8 until 9, we'll be trembling before our angry god. From 9 to 10, there's yellow fever on the Lido deck. And at 10, it's everybody's favorite, buckle hat bingo. What if we lost our buckle hat? Well, do you have a plain hat? Yeah. Do you have a belt? Yeah. You got a buckle hat. <gasps> I just love knowing what's going on. Let's get this show on the road. After all, it's not called Bing Stop, it's called Bing Go! <laughs> <laughs> That's very clever. Yeah, and uh, uh, maybe if I win, I'll yell Bing Joe. 
Don't force it, Joe. Yeah, be quiet, Joe. Me and the gang are trying to hear our numbers. You and the gang? I'm the one who brought you here. Yeah, well, you know something? The Mayflower also brought fungus, which then became the potato famine. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I've had like four insurers. I'm out of my mind. We now return to Turner Classic Movies' presentation of John Wayne's final western, Big Bill Doyle. John Wayne only ate beef and coffee for every meal, so the director had to shoot around the fact that he was on the toilet all the time. Big Bill, two men got off the 240 from Amarillo. Saddle my horse. <laughs> Reach for the sky, pilgrims. <laughs> big Bill Doyle. That's right, and I just made a Big Bill coil. What? Wait a second. Could that be Harriet Tubman's secret underground railroad? <gasps> it is. Go, Freedom Train, go! I've seen enough. I happen to know that nothing of historical significance ever occurred here. Please, have our money ready by tomorrow. Good day. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Look, this is where the pilgrims landed at Fraggle Rock. What is this, Lois? It's jambalaya. It's a new recipe. Mm. Mm -mm. Hey, da. Uh, Eat your food, mister. Uh, uh, All right, if you don't want it, put it in your napkin. Uh, Peter, uh, put it in your napkin. Uh, put it in your napkin. Uh, I'm uh, not gonna... Uh, you know, some people would be very happy to have this food, like John Goodman's family. Peter, Quagmire, I've called you here today because this has got to stop. The petty vine for my attention, the late-night phone calls, the attack ads. Glenn Quagmire claims to be Joe Swanson's good friend. But would a good friend not return a leaf blower for four months during the leafy season? I'm Peter Griffin, and I broke into a news station to make this. Hey, who's that guy? Yeah! Please, Daddy. I told you, when I'm finished, you can have what's left. There won't be any left. There's never any left. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Finally, I'm above the law, like my 14th century ancestor, King of Denmark, Griffin. More wine, more women, more table! <laughs> so, did you guys know that Marilyn's real name was Norma Jean? <sighs> mm-hmm. And if you said hello to Bernard Schwartz, you'd be saying... Saying hello to Tony Curtis, yes, we know. Better smile when you say that, pilgrim. Marion Morrison, a.k.a. John Wayne. Yep, we remember from the list you emailed us, Joe. You know, Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln, and Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy. Kind of makes you think, huh? Oh, ah, I'm having a heart attack! Is anyone at the table a doctor? I am! Come here, hurry, run! But the very faraway doctor couldn't make it in time, and that's why here in Denmark, we have very small tables. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for our national anthem, performed this afternoon by Peter Griffin and his dirt bike. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 